This week, we visit a city that is built on top of a cave. The city's right here above us. We head underground and discover a hidden river. And of course, we find some good eating along the way. Come on along. All right, we just got off I-65 in uh, Horse Cave, Kentucky, and we have been here a lot of times, staying at the KOA or driving past it. Just passing through. We never took time to stop. But, but this this is why you get off the interstate, because we were curious about Horse Cave, Kentucky. So I Googled Horse Cave, Kentucky, and found out there's a lot to see here, and it's worth the stop. Hey, but first you gotta eat, and there's an Amish bakery. Can't wait to get inside and see what they've got. Turns out that in the 1980s, a bunch of Amish people moved here, and uh, there's quite an Amish community. And uh, if you've uh, ever had Amish baked goods, you will know. What looks good to you? Well, I'm thinking about the fish sandwich, but I'm thinking it's fried probably. Or maybe the pulled pork. I don't see any salads. And I forgot. We're so anxious to eat it, but I didn't show it to you. We decided to split. We split the chicken sandwich. That's all that's left of my half. Really good. It's a grilled chicken, but they got some really neat sauce on it. And then we have a, we split a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Um, but it's on homemade sourdough bread. Awesome. Well, lunch was absolutely awesome, but you can't go to an Amish bakery without having a donut or a dessert. And you'll see why we're going to split this as soon as I get it out of here. Here it comes. Huge. A Boston cream donut. What kind? Caramel. It's got some caramel on it. That is pretty. Oh my. Okay. Now let's go tour the cave. What's amazing is the entire town of Horse Cave is built on a cave. So that cave under there is like 10 miles long. Wow. The whole area here is, uh, is a cave. Uh, everything under it. And of course, just down the road from us is Mammoth uh, Cave, you know, the National Park, uh, which is pretty cool. But why do they call this Horse Cave? Good question. Why do they call it Horse Cave? Well, I Googled it. Yeah? So I know. <laughs> At least what Mr. Google Mr. Know-it-all? Well, what Google says is that um, it was a, a turn of, it was a phrase uh, that people used back, uh, you know, in the 1800s to mean something really big, you know, like uh, horse chestnuts uh, or a horse laugh, you know, <laughs> something that uh, was larger than normal. And uh, indeed, that uh, cave entrance down there is larger than normal. This cave was abandoned for over 50 years. That was all grown over and nobody went near it. A couple industries came to town and uh, the agricultural pollution that that makes, uh, the, this just stunk. The river was so polluted, it was just a stench. People couldn't stand it around here. And then some legislation passed and people said enough and they worked and they cleaned it up and uh, so happy ending. And now we gotta keep this open and keep it clean.
150 steps down. Where's Main Street? Well, probably right in here somewhere. <laughs> so we're right under the city right here. Uh, this is first dome, it's a two and a half acre room in the cave. And where we're standing up to the surface, up to the roof of this is probably about 60 feet. And then there's probably about 60 feet of limestone from the roof up to the surface. If you want to grab a cheeseburger later, CJ Cafe is right over the dome up here. I have pretty good cheeseburgers and fries. Uh, check cashing buildings here, the Water Street runs through here, the U.S. Post Office, bookstore, clothing store, walk through town, and Main Street runs right back in here somewhere, and then there's buildings on the other side of Main Street. So the city's right here above us. Up here to the left are a couple of layers of sand in the cave. Native American Indians used flint for arrowheads, blades, scrapers, drill bits, just about everything they could cut with. Um, there, it's all throughout the cave. There's nodules of it on the floor, balls in the ceiling and everywhere. So they use that for uh, their tools and also, of course, they use the water in the cave as a drinking source for their animals and for themselves. So this is a suspension bridge, and uh, it goes over the Hidden River, 93 feet uh, of suspension bridge, underground. Pretty cool. There's not handrails on both sides of the path in here, so be careful as you walk through this part of the cave, stay in the middle of the path. Step off, you're going to get your shoes muddy. If you fall off, you're going to bump your head maybe and get everything muddy, so we don't want you to do that. This is a good place to show you how dark it is in the cave. Yeah. Why you want to pay your electric bills. It's so interesting how water always wins and how the river cuts its way around and through these rocks. You can see in the flashlight mirror right here how humid it is down here in the cave. That's all uh, little uh, water droplets from the humidity of the cave. And of course there's the water. And of course, what goes down must go up. <laughs> At least when you go down into a cave. 350 steps up. In this region of southern Kentucky and in northern uh, Tennessee, there are more than 16,000 caves. That's, I think, more than anywhere else in North America. And after having gone down and explored this cave and just seeing how huge it is, it's absolutely incredible to think that they've built a town on top of that cave. And the $25 emission fee, it's, it's a good cause to keep this uh, maintained and to keep this cave open and even the history of the cave how it was polluted and how it got cleaned up and everything it's something to appreciate yep uh they're open year round so uh take a visit it's about a half day visit i'd say you'd see it uh real well and uh there's some good eating as well in town hey we're mike and jennifer wendland thank you guys so much for watching this please do us a favor and subscribe to the rv lifestyle youtube channel right here just click that button down on the lower right hand part of your screen we'll see you next time happy trails mm -hmm.